War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hmm, beard. Okay, I like it. I clean up pretty nice.
You have such a strong chin. Hello, handsome. Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? I'm hurrying up. Don't worry. Hmm, just getting ready. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. 
rude to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Kazuwe. Of course, sir. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A plus. Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shore. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Hey, hon. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the speech. Also, if there are troops stationed overseas or experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. It's probably that and salesman. He comes for you every day. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. Good morning! vault -Tec calling. vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir. And helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language... The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Now, I can't wait for the world to end. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the spirit. Now, let's see.
Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hey, hon. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Sean has been uh, changed. Need to finish making Sean's costume. Refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Hun. I'll be there in a minute. Go ahead. Let's give Codsworth a break. Sean needs some old-fashioned human attention anyway. Chinese forces may have finally been driven from Anchorage, but the conflict is transitioned. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And do what exactly? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have... We do have coming in. That's, um... Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. And God help you us You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? We're everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Sir, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform! Sir, I need to operate the elevator. Get out of the control room! Hey there. The platform's over there, sir. All right, that's it. Send it down. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Elevator this is and proceed home. up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future, 
underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... <sighs> no, We'd no, all be... don't get caught up thinking about that. Excuse Everyone, me. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Head inside. Just up the stairs there. Excuse me. Male. Elevators. Male. Oh. 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 Female and folks, welcome. Female. Pick up a suit right over there. There you are. Just step Head over to the, the hall table. there. Are good. You'll need your suit. Right there. There was a nuke. A goddamn nuke. Where? We're safe. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. It's down the hallway right there. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Sir? My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical Good items we have to get through first. Everyone everyone off the list to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Hey there. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Just step into the chamber. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the wall. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. <sighs> Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In Biogenic array. 
Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Why would Voltaire do this? Malfunction in cryopod manual release override. Malfunction in cryopod manual release override. Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? Giant roaches? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> 